So you just moved to Aspen? Oh yeah. It's so cold here. I guess though, compared to California. You know what? I always feel like my fingers are going numb. I get that sometimes. You know, when I'm cold. Dude, I'm getting kind of tired. Hold on, man. Dude, you know what? I feel like a little dizzy. Dude, you're a little pale. Are you okay? Ah, my legs! I can't feel my legs! Oh my god, somebody help! He does have tenderness and spleen palpation. The severe pain point to something neurological. Hmm. Okay, so we've got severe pain, stroke, splenic tenderness, and inflammation. What about his history? Well, we have gotten a chance to... Um, uh, excuse me, doctor. I went about collecting the patient's history. Ah, oh, thank you. Someone who didn't waste their expensive education on being an idiot. Uh, thank you, nurse. Please um, enlighten my staff, would you? But speak slowly. They get uh, confused by big words. No problem, doctor. The patient, 16 years old, his parents immigrated from the Caribbean, and he's the first generation born here. He just moved to California a week ago, and he's had no other major illnesses or surgeries. It actually appears he hasn't even seen a doctor since grade school. And he reported that he constantly finds reddish sores on his ankles. Wait a minute. Kid's 16 years old. Kids run to things all the time. I doubt that's really them. Yeah, like we're gonna listen to what you have to say. I bet 50 bucks Nurse Baca is right. You want to make a bet? Let us figure this out. Well, actually, the patient says he doesn't play sports, so the injuries are less likely to be from sports or rough play. Um, I took a look at one of them and it actually looks like more of an ulceration. Also, his mother says he's been getting winded easily. Um, we just went ahead and put a saline soak on the ulcerations. Okay, what about the uh, vitals and physical appearance? Anything else weird? Uh, the patient has elevated BP and elevated pulse. Pulse ox is low, and he also has some pallor in the mucous membranes. Ah! 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 Please, make it stop! Please! Ah! Ah! to start. He Just got low RBC, low hemoglobin, hematocrit, high bilirubin, and high uh, normal serum ion, and high platelet. He also have high PaCO2, which indicated he have respiratory acidosis. His x-ray is a mess. The kid's got some skeletal deformities. It looks like his bones look, well, flattened. Flat? Wait a second. The mother mentioned to me that she and her husband are from the Caribbean. Uh, wow, thank you for that enlightening tidbit. Um, I'm sure we'd all like to go on a vacation right now, but... Doctors, I just spoke to the mother, and she said that both she and her husbands are carriers for the um, gene mutation hemoglobin S. She said that her son was tested for it, but came up negative. And what does that mean? Ah, you mean other than that, he doesn't have it? Well, when I conducted the interview, she said the same thing. And you didn't think to notice that, notify us? Well, he got it when he was two years old, but it was, it was negative, so what is there more to tell? Well, actually, the mother mentioned that he got it when he was only two months old. Ah. Well, I guess I misunderstood. So what the good nurse is trying to tell us here is that he was tested too young. Getting tested any time before three months of age, you'll get a false negative. So um, go ahead and get me a peripheral blood smear and electrophoresis. 16 is too late for symptoms to start showing up. I mean, why now? Well, you did say that he moved 
to Aspen from California, which has a lower altitude than up here in Aspen. And he might have had an infection with further need, further weakening him. Well, kid, it looks like you drew the short straw. You've got sickle cell anemia. I'm sorry, sickle what? Well, my job is done here. See you later. Now that we have some time, why don't I tell you more about sickle cell anemia? You inherited it from both your mother and your father, and it's a disease that affects the hemoglobin in your red blood cells. Do you know what hemoglobin is? Um, oh yeah, uh, I learned that in biology. Uh, oxygen attaches to it, and then that supplies your whole body? Good, you're right. In sickle cell anemia, the hemoglobin molecule is mutated, and instead of keeping its normal round shape and collecting oxygen, it makes the blood cell stiff, and it makes a fold into a crescent nail, kind of like the edge of your fingernail. Oh, is that why it hurts? Yes, the abnormal shape of the cell will uh, block the blood vessel and obstruct the blood flow, which cause pain and uh, low mm -hmm. oxygen. And it also can damage your organs, like your heart, your brain, your kidneys, and your spleen. And there's some medications that we can give you that'll help, and there are also some things you can do that'll help. So what can I do? You should make sure that you drink enough of fluid, uh, not just only Coke and Pepsi, but uh, water and juice as well. And we need to talk to your parents about you moving back to um, an area of lower altitude, because you know high altitudes make it harder for your body to get oxygen. Uh -oh. So what if I get a cold or a flu? Well, you need to let your mother know right away and see a doctor just to make sure it doesn't get worse. There are many people with the same disease. If you would like to learn more and talk to other people with sickle cell anemia, a good place to start is the American Sickle Cell Anemia Association. You can go to their site at www.ascaa.org support.